two pictures for the tree today. One of a flaming altar, the other of a royal scepter. Let's put them on the tree. And they represent two well-known characters in the Bible. The flaming altar represents Elijah and the royal scepter represents Queen Esther. Elijah is best known for the story of the contest on Mount Carmel, where he challenges all the prophets of Baal, 400 I think there were, to prove that their God is the most powerful by laying a bull on the altar and saying to the hit, saying to the prophets, if your God is real, then let him burn up this offering. And they chant and they go round and they plead and they, they pray and they give drops of blood literally to try and get their God Baal to burn up the offering. And then Elijah steps up and having soaked the bull with masses of water, he prays to God. And of course, God sends holy fire and burns up the offering completely. And then Elijah sets about the prophets of Baal and destroys them all. And yet, and yet the very next chapter, when Jezebel hears about what has happened to her prophets, she declares, she declares, may the God strike me and even kill me if by this time tomorrow I have not killed you just as you killed them. And this hero of the faith who could take on 400 prophets at once at the top of the mountain runs away and declares that he's been abandoned by God and he just shrinks within himself because he feels like he's the only person fighting for God and God has deserted him. Of course, it's not true. And God makes it clear that it's not true as the story develops. But that is the story probably most remembered of Elijah. What about Queen Esther? Queen Esther, the most amazing thing about the book of Esther is that there were many arguments about whether it should be included in the Bible at all because God, God isn't mentioned once. And yet, when you look at it, her actions, her actions and her uncle Mordecai's saved the people of Israel the Jewish people, all together. And it's because even though God is not mentioned directly, Esther does what is right. And so my Lenten thought for today is this. I'm sure we've all had Elijah moments, mountaintop experiences when we felt God's presence so clearly and we've known what to do and we've stood our ground and then and then we've had Elijah moments when we felt alone abandoned uncertain insecure that's still part of faith and humanity but my prayer for you is that you treasure the mountaintop experiences, but remain faithful even in the valley. And more than that, I pray for all of us that we have plenty of Esther moments. When even though we have not heard from God directly or we are not in a place where we know exactly what God wants us to do because of a direct command or a word, we simply do what is right because we're living out of God's character. 
I pray you will have an Esther day today. See you tomorrow. Bye.